then I heard these crows crowing, lots of crows crowing, and then the shake started. And um, it, was, it started very quietly, and then it kept on and on, and it was getting bigger and bigger. And I suddenly um, thought it might not be wise to stay inside, so I opened the door leading to the garden, and I ran out into the garden. There's a little pond in the garden. The water was splashing out. Um, I can see the tree shaking, and the glass doors on the second floor was just rattling away. And, uh, and now it's calmed down, so I'm going over the rooms, and some of the glassware in the cover came out and it's broken. I called my friend next door and see if she was okay. And she said she ran outside. And there were a couple of people outside on the street also running out from the house. The resident that we spoke to just a short while ago, uh, telling us about her experience as the earthquake struck and in the face of that tsunami warning that was issued, we saw some pictures just a moment ago, dramatic pictures of a huge wave coming up uh, on shore. Uh, with us is our correspondent, Harry Fawcett. He's monitoring events from Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Harry, uh, from that earlier on when you were telling us...